Hello everybody, my name is Anthony. Welcome back to Let's Play Heart of Time 4 as Russia. So I fixed the mouse cursor. You've done it. I've just created like a basically a brand new uh UBS or not UBS. OBS setting. Trying to uh, resolve it. It looks like it's you know done pretty well at least. Uh can you guys just like march into Russia? So, you know, I was saying before, you know, I wish I didn't have to fight the Russians, but you know. Hey, United States, you wanna give me some guns? Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. For aircraft, I guess go over here uh, and close air support. I don't know what else you'd really do. We only have 50 days worth of weapons. We can declare war on Finland. or trying to take uh, territory from us. Aid from Germany. Oh, thanks. 2,000 rifles. 2,000 rifles. I mean, I'm sure. Why not? So what are they trying to seize? How many troops does Finland have? 9 of 17 divisions. They're one of the Finns as well. Who the hell do they think they are? Finland, not an inch of territory. Apparently they decided to take down there. I'm really not too sure what their main plan is. But 9 to 17 divisions is not a ton. I mean, our manpower is still in the absolute gutter, but... It could be worse. Um, land auction. Uh, still terrible. Why? Did I not finish? Oh, this is actually been done in like three days. Okay, that's fine. In three days, it'll be kind of resolved. Okay, yes, we need the kind of volunteers from the Germans. Thank you. Germany, give me everything you possibly can. Oh, you are absolutely perfect. 500 days. Oh, go back down. It's like speed four. Not be on speed five. No, not speed five. That's too much. Aid from national France. One more day. Please, one more day. Just can just one more day pass. Thank you. Can, uh, Canada is also sending volunteer units and sending on armies. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Three light tanks from you. Okay, so you have some vo uh, Canadian volunteers. You can go into this front line because this front line is going to need to be extended all the way against Finland. Uh, you know, not much we can actually do there. So, Pink, uh, your front line is now going to completely extend to all of the Soviet Union. Well, uh, it's kind of like a purpley color, but they just get drawn back like there. That's fine. And that, to me, seems to be okay. Uh, Soviet Union, uh, they've significantly inc uh, increased in troop numbers by a lot. Uh, so can I do anything else after that? Army modernization. We can reform the navy, but I, don't, I really don't care at all about the navy for now. So we'll just do this. Okay, how many troops do I have? I have 133 divisions, so I still outnumber the Soviets. I don't uh, outnumber the Finns. Or, I mean, uh, I think everything I'm trying to say wrong. Somebody's being gravely wounded. That does not take long. We'll get as much supplies from everybody that we possibly can. So, pur Purple, your new plan is garbage. Or your old plan, I should say. Your plan is now basically stretched over to all of the river. And your objective now is to punish the Finns. Because what the hell were they thinking? Of course, I don't want to push into the north. Because the north is garbage and not worth anything. Um... You're all going to basically set sail over there because that port is going to get lost. No question about that. The territory up to the north right here is mostly just going to be defended. More so than anything else. Oh, these don't actually connect? Oh, there's a river here. Okay. Uh, Canada wants to send some more volunteers. Absolutely okay by me. See if we can at least try to fight the Finns somewhat. Keep pushing our way down south. Finland, you really don't like us, and that's not a huge surprise. I'm assuming you're... Soviet's actually not getting any re reinforcements from anybody. 84 days. Oh, that's significantly better than 500. Okay, so you guys... One of you, just stop attacking. And actually, just go take over these extra territories. That would be awesome. Brown, if, again, if you can just, like, walk into these empty territories and try to maybe push your way through, that would, again, would be pretty sweet of you to do. 
like, I, uh, again, I'm just looking at all these empty territories and wondering, why the hell is nobody walking into them? They're free for the taking, and yet you do nothing. Okay, go take over there. You guys push over to this direction. I gotta turn off this heater, because... Because, uh... At least in my house, the air conditioning has... Oh, not the air conditioning, I guess. The heater. The thermostat broke. And we literally cannot control the temperature here. So I'm assuming of the, uh... The broiler, whatever you want to call it, just does not work at all. Which is not fantastic. Of course, you guys, don't be on the, just normal operations, you morons. But yeah, basically, uh, everything broke. And it got really cold. It's like three degrees outside. It was not a great time. I had a little burger arm, but now it's a little bit too hot. It's actually like burning my arm because of the direction that it's facing. Yes, we have some reinforcements who are trying to come in. You guys are trying to uh, provide some fire support. I get it really did not take that long for me to completely destroy Russia. It, like, it literally just like just happened. Oh no, we can't let this we can't let this guy get surrounded. That'd be bad optics. Declare war on everybody. Who do they think they are? I mean, okay, first things first. Uh. You guys, like, desperately can't be in Asia anymore. Like, there's more pressing concerns for us right now. Uh, this pink army as well. If you can just, like, deploy into that army. Try to stop the Cossacks. By all means necessary. I mean, I could have just let them take over territory, but that's ridiculous. That's not the Russian way. We must keep our strength. You go over here. Push through all these territories. You No, don't push that way because it's actually going to break the AI. And I prefer the AI to stay as, as unbroken as humanly possible. Yeah, we can actually kind of push this guy back. You're actually a little losing. That guy's like, no organization. I don't understand how that was happening. Okay, so this guy is completely surrounded. That's not wonderful. You know, all of these... Everybody, like, stop attacking. Everybody except for the guys against the Finns. Stop attacking. Just hold your position. Try to hold your ground. Because right now, we're missing a lot of weapons. Uh, volunteer forces are going to arrive 20th and the 24th. So a handful of Germans and a handful of Canadians are going to uh, hopefully arrive soon. I don't know where the uh, Germans... Okay, they showed up right there at that port. That's fine. Yeah, just try to take over all these territories. I mean, the fin Finnish army is not that big. It's only like 9 to 17 uh, divisions. We can march and try to take the north. Everywhere else, I would like to at least, like... Okay, let's try to fight this guy. You're still defending. That's A-OK. -okay. The troops are slowly but surely arriving. I mean, let's not actually fight them. That's not actually going to help our cause out at all. You are almost completely surrounded. So you actually just get out of the city, because, uh... More important uh, concerns uh, pressing us at this moment, I would say. So, you know, All Out War is the name of the game. We're losing all of our offensive combats, but we're kind of doing okay in our defensive ones. So, I mean, that's not too bad. If maybe we can push you guys a little bit. We can probably push maybe into this guy a little bit. We can probably push in this guy a little bit. Of course, I don't want this many troops up north. That's why I'm going to try to... Fix the AI a little bit. I mean, I can just, like, change it myself. And just have it be over here. Most of you guys just hold position. You guys come over here. But I still want you guys to at least try to push in. That's a lake. Fair enough. I mean, it's hard to kind of tell where the lakes are, honestly, but... Try to get at least some troops over here. Uh, you are kind of like an empty territory. Can I march over here? Not quite. Can you march over there? Yes. 
You're completely still surrounded. Uh, Soviets have a lot of men. They have really bolstered their army. They're, you know, that's, that's definitely one thing you can say about them. Uh, the French want to send us one volunteer division. I mean, I won't say no. How long do you actually get there to reinforce? It's going to take you 10 days to try to defend ourselves against the Cossacks. It doesn't really matter where you are. I don't even ca I kind of care more about... They can take, like, this area here. They have too many troops. That's not great. One of... Whoever's, like, the furthest back... You can just stay over here. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to actually just assign a fallback line. Uh, here across the mountains against the Alesh Order. And basically be like, we can be here. They, they, we can lose that territory. But we'll try to hold off this line. I mean, a good question to ask would be... Why did you declare war in every single country you possibly could during a massive civil war? That's a great question. The great question, I will I will admit, has no logical or reasonable answer. And I understand that some people might think, hey, you're very dumb for having done that. But on the other hand, I will I would like to say. You were 100% correct on that. Uh, so we'll try to push maybe into this guy a little bit. See if you can maybe get something done here. The Finns, you know, 40% stability. We only have like 26% war support. Essentially, this is an offensive war, and I, I call shenanigans on that. Rush, the second Russian Civil War. This time where things are even worse. Can I get anybody to join my faction? Probably not. Uh, like an attack from Georgia in the, in the south, that would be useful. I think we can all agree on that. We just like go right here, you know. Somewhere that's not like too bad. How about you just also like, retreat away and just go to the line that I have ordered you to go to? I mean, hopefully this play, this 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 series is not too short because right now uh, it's looking a bit fishy. But if we just like, you know capitulate one of these countries, it's not that bad. All things considered, it's not that bad. Slowly getting our troops to kind of come down here. If we can get a little bit of a pocket against these Soviet or against these uh, Finnish troops, that's not a huge uh, penalty, I would say. Delete that front because it makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, you're still going to be on this front, but still. Get the Olu. You try to push in these guys. I mean, these guys will not have any supplies. Given enough time, they're completely surrounded. Slightly. And the Don Kuban, uh... You know, they're pushing... Why are you attacking, you morons? We're trying to establish a defensive line to stop the... Stop the Cossacks, but you're not... Doing that so well. Are you at war with any of these guys either? No, you're not. Finland, if anything, we have more reason to fight the Soviets than we do to fight each other. That, that's, that's all I gotta say about the situation. We, we have more in common than we have against, like, apart. You're a kingdom, I'm a kingdom, same ideology. Apparently the Finns hate us more than I hate them. At war, holds core provinces, claim Karelia. What do you mean I claim Karelia? I have always owned Karelia, I'm pretty sure. Can I just go? I'm gonna try to see if I can just walk to Helensky. And again, just try to take over as something. Uh, French Republic showing up. Royalist visit from Siam. Oh, the, the Royalist won. Oh, that's fine. I don't care. It's probably actually good for me. All of you try to push in this troop. Okay, we've made some progress. We can probably surround these two militias. Okay, now that you got... No, okay, you guys. We're pretty close now, so... You can frontline here. John Reed elected as the President of the United States. Ah, uh, that's not... Great. For us. Primarily because the United States, uh... They're now syndicalist. 
Semper Fi. Which means they have strong sympathies to the Soviet Union. And again, that's not great. So how about you guys... I mean, they're probably going to have a civil war. I, I imagine there's going to be a civil war in the United States soon. And that, I would say, is a good thing. For the most part. Um, if they win, we're probably going to want to back... Well, prove artillery. I don't... I, I don't even know if I have that many artillery, so that's actually probably a bad idea. You know, let's improve our factories. No, that's just cap, though. Production. We, let's, let's make our factories a little bit better. But if there is a civil war in the United States, we probably want the... The South to win the war. Oh, look at you. You're trying to uh, redeploy, you yeah, stinky... You yeah, silly idiot. We can probably start on this trip as well. Try to push our way through here. Uh, try to get some reinforcements over here. Try to defend them against Helensky. Okay, so you guys, you're still trying to get your way to a loo. Like right now, it's just that the Finns actually don't have enough troops to really. Uh, like, they can't really counter us because they don't have enough men to do so. These guys are completely screwed. You know what? Most of our guys aren't even attacking. You know what? Orange, you can attack. Apparently, you feel relatively confident in your abilities. Right now, the war has claimed 80,000 Russian lives, 84,000 Soviet, 19,000. I mean, overall, we're, we've killed more than we've lost. So, if we're going by that metric... Also, you guys are trying to redeploy into enemy armies, which is not a great... Uh, no, stop. How many troops do you actually have? You only have 7 to 12 divisions as well. So all, overall, you're still not actually that strong. Like, we outnumber you. And that realistically means that we can maybe try to outmaneuver them. Because they don't have enough men to actually stop us. Like, we will overall have more men than they can put on the field. Unlike the Soviets, which, I mean... Overall, do outnumber us, because all their 120 divisions are here, and our 130 divisions are all the way across the Empire. So overall, I would say... You know, you just, like, walk walk to all these places. Because right now, our AI is not going to get screwed up by this, but the Finnish AI is going to be messed up, and it won't understand what's happening. Election of the Republic of Italy has ended with the election of Prime Minister... Uh, uh, Luigi. Who is social liberal, but they are still... Are they not part of the Australian faction? Maybe they join later. I'm not too sure. But if we can capitulate the Finns. Which is what I'm trying to do. At least take Helensky. Because I'm pretty sure, you know, in Kaiserreich, especially compared to, let's say, the base game. A lot of the peace events are done via... Event. You're retreating into that guy. That doesn't even make any sense. I think he just died. I think he just got overrun. I'm not 100% too sure, but I feel like that's what just happened. Okay, so they've just reunited. Germany is trying to put some pressure. The Canadians are also trying to put some pressure on Finland. So, you know, I am glad for that. We're actually pretty close to Lensky. It's going to take you six days to get there. We can see the Finns are trying to send some reinforcements over there. But if we could take over Helensky and push our way straight into Petrograd, that would be very, very good. For us. And again, as you can see, they don't have enough men to realistically counter against us. Because they can't, um, they don't have enough soldiers to cover the entirety of the front line. And that's a great thing. But it's going to be a good time to end this episode. Thank you for watching my anthem. If you've enjoyed my thumbs up, if you're not enjoying it, thumbs up down. Want to subscribe and goodbye.